Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to create this user action in Adobe XD using a mixture of voice trigger and auto animate. Make sure you guys download the project file. The link will be down in the description and that will get you to the starting point for this tutorial. So let's switch over to Adobe XD and get started. Just like most tutorials here on the channel, in the project file, I already have the grid laid out. It's a two column and they're 17 pixel wide so we can get that nice spacing on each side. I also have all the colors provided as well as the fonts. For the fonts, we are going to be using Open Sans, which is free from Google Fonts. And we're gonna be using a variety of sizes that I've titled based on the size that they actually are. Also, we have the symbols of this pin icon, a closing icon, a mic icon and a status bar all provided for you. I'll also have the image that I'm actually using in the project file folder as well, so you can drag the same one in that I'm using. So let's go ahead and start designing this. To start, I'm gonna drag in the status bar and with my align tools, I'm gonna align it to the top and make sure it is centered horizontally. Next, let's type out the word tasks. And we'll make sure that is set to a title one, which is a 28 sized font. Make sure it's aligned to the left. We'll put it on this left side margin and we'll put 90 spacing from the top. Each of our tasks are going to be showed on a small little rectangle, kind of like a card. So I'm gonna drag that out. And this is going to be 82 pixels high by 341 wide, allowing us to have 17 space on each side. For the border radius, we'll just set that to five and we'll remove the border and check the shadow. For the shadow, I'm gonna select the one here in the center and we'll adjust the Y value to one and the blur to 20. Next, I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool and hold shift and drag out an ellipse and we'll make this 24 pixels by 24 pixels. I'm gonna increase the border to about three pixels and make sure it's divided between the inside and the outside of our circle by clicking this icon and we'll change the border color to our blue by right clicking, apply as border, and then we can uncheck the fill. Next, I'm gonna make sure that's centered and we'll put 20 spacing from the side of our rectangle. Then we can type out our first task. I'm gonna set this to our body font, which is a 17 size font, regular weight. I'm gonna make sure it's centered and we'll put 17 spacing between the circle and that text. I'm gonna group these, switch over to my layers panel and we'll call this website task. Holding alt, I'm gonna drag down to make a duplicate and we'll make sure we have 17 spacing. And I'm also gonna make sure we have 17 spacing below task to make sure it's nice and even. Let's change the text on the next one to meeting with Google marketing. I'm gonna ungroup this with command shift G and I'm gonna grab the line tool and drag it a line straight through the text. I'm gonna select that line and our text and we'll set these to this medium gray. We'll also do that to the circle, apply as border and inside of the circle, we're gonna create a smaller one to symbolize it being checked off. So once we've done that, I'm gonna select everything and hit Command G to group it. Back in the layers panel, we'll name this Google task. For this screen, the only thing remaining is an icon down here at the bottom. So I'll hold shift while I drag out an ellipse and we'll set this to 60 by 60. In the assets panel, I'm gonna select the blue and remove the border. And then we can select a shadow and we'll just select the middle one. and we'll set this 30 pixels from the bottom of the artboard. Now we can drag out our microphone icon and we'll just center that up inside of the circle using the align tools and we'll set that to white. Command G to group it and then in the layers panel, we'll name this mic button. So that is our first artboard done. I've named it 01. So I'm gonna select it and hit Command D and we'll name this one 02. For this next area, we can delete these groupings and we'll change the task to a title two, which is bumping that down to a 22 size font. And since we did that, I'm gonna make sure we still have 90 spacing from the top 
We're also gonna change this to the standard Adobe XD gray. And we'll change the text to listening, dot, dot, dot. So now we can make this look nice and we can draw some lines to make it look like we're talking and that it's actually hearing us. So I'm gonna select P on the keyboard for the pencil and I'll just drag out something like that. And we'll set that to a border of blue. And then we'll do another one. Same thing, border of blue. Except on this one, we're gonna lower the opacity to about 50%. And then we'll do a third one. Set it to blue. And this one will drag down to somewhere around 15, 16%. Now if that's done, I'm gonna select the original 01 artboard and hit Command D to make a duplicate. And we'll title this one 03. We can also remove the grid off of these other ones. 03 is actually going to be the same. This one is here for an auto animate. So we'll add something to this in a minute. So I'm actually gonna make another duplicate of this one and we'll change this to 04. So artboard 04 is actually gonna have our new task. So I'm just going to select the first one and hold alt and drag out a duplicate into the pasteboard. Let's adjust the text to say lunch with Jane at Chipotle. I'll highlight Chipotle and set that to red. And I'm also gonna drag in the pin icon and we'll make sure that is centered with our text and also set that to red. I'm gonna ungroup this with Command Shift G. I'm gonna select the rectangle and we'll drag it down to, let's go with 290. Inside of here, I'm gonna drag out a rectangle. And we'll try to get 20 spacing on each side. So our rectangle is now 301 wide by 197 high. I'm gonna remove the border and set the fill just to a slightly darker gray. I'm gonna set the border radius to five pixels. And then we can drag in our Chipotle image into this rectangle. So I'll just drag that in. And lastly, we need to create some text on our image. So I'm just going to type out 12 space min for minute. I'm gonna set this text to footnote and white. Then I'm going to put it in the bottom left corner, hold shift and go up 10 and to the right 10 using my arrow keys. And then we'll drop this down three to four pixels from the height value. Next, I'm gonna make a small circle for a dot. This is gonna be four by four and remove the border. I'm gonna center that with the text and make sure there's 10 spacing, then hold alt and drag over the text again. And for this, we'll put 4.1 space MI for a mile. Then I'm gonna select both of the text and the dot and check the shadow. And we'll just drag it slightly darker than normal, around 30%. Zoom out, we can read it, so that looks pretty good. Next, I'm gonna select all of this and hit Command G. And then we can finally rename this to lunch task. So we need both states for the auto animate. So I'm gonna hold Alt and make a duplicate. I'm gonna select the image and hold Shift and drag this until it's pretty small around there and drag the opacity all the way to zero. Next, I'm gonna grab both text and the dot and drag them up somewhere around there. It doesn't really matter where and we're gonna turn the opacity all the way to zero. I'm also gonna select the rectangle in the back and set that to the normal height, which is 82. So we'll just change that to 82. So now that we have both states, I'm gonna select this one, hit Command C. I'm gonna go to Artboard 04 and hit Command V to paste it in. And then we'll drag it into the first position. Then I'm gonna select the other ones and move them down. And make sure we have 17 spacing in between everything. Just like that. I'm gonna drag these out of the way. Select Artboard 04 and hit Command D to make a duplicate. 
And then we can drag these down a little bit further and delete this one. And then we'll just drag this one in. Make sure it's centered. And we'll do 17 spacing below tasks. And then we will make 17 spacing below for the rest of them. And then we have this final one. I'm just gonna drag this under artboard 03. We're gonna do something with that in a second. So now we can turn off the grid for all of these and we'll rename this final artboard 05. So now all of our artboards are set up for our prototyping interaction. So I'm gonna switch over to the prototype tab. So the first screen, we're gonna tap on this icon. So I'm gonna link that up to the artboard 02. This is gonna be a tap trigger, just a normal transition, dissolve, and then 0 0.3 seconds will work. From artboard 02 to three, I'm gonna drag out a wire. And this is going to be a voice trigger. And here we'll put lunch with Jane at Chipotle. We'll have this as a normal transition, dissolve over 0.3 seconds. Then I'll select artboard three and we'll link that to artboard four. We're gonna set this trigger to time. The delay is going to be 0.4 seconds. The action will be auto animate. And we'll leave everything else the same. And finally from 04 to 05, we're gonna have a time trigger. I'm gonna decrease this to 0.2 seconds and the duration will set to 0.4 seconds. And the last thing we need to do is have this lunch slide in above the rest of these. So to do that, I'm gonna drag this out of the way. We had this left over, I'm just going to position it on top and then just drag it into the baseboard. So that's going to slide over as these slide down to auto animate to the screen. So we'll just drag this back Select desktop preview. If we click this, it will fade in to the listen. If I hold spacebar, I can then say my voice command, lunch with Jane at Chipotle. And then the auto animate takes effect. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed creating that interaction with auto animate and voice triggers in Adobe XD. If you guys like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design and code related content. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.